grace and your mercy, God. We thank you this morning for remembering us, God. For bringing us here, God. For your people who are here this morning. Yes, God. Father, we pray for a divine touch. Father, let them not leave here the same way they came, God. Let them have an encounter with you this morning. We need an encounter, God, with the Most High God. Yes, God, Father, those who are thirsty for you this morning, like the deer pants for the water brook, Father, fill their thirst. Yes, God, fill their needs this morning, God. Father, you are our deliverer this morning. Yes, God, without you, we are nothing. Without you, we are empty this morning. Father, deliver us from evil. Father deliver us from every strong man strong woman in the name of Jesus Father deliver your people from every strong man of poverty yes God Father your word says we must bind the strong man in the name of Jesus and you have given us power and authority this morning to enter the camp of the enemy God we bind the strong man of poverty God of setback and delay in the name of Jesus Father your word says that you will bless the works of our hands God Father every idle hand let it find something to do yes God this morning that you will be able to bless it yes God you will be able to multiply it Father give your people witty ideas give them invention in the name of Jesus Father you said in the last days you're going to pour out out your spirit upon all flesh father let there be an outpouring of your spirit God upon your people in this house in this region in the name of Jesus anoint us afresh God from the crown of our feet to the soul of our God on our heads God father let fresh oil begin to run father remove the spirit of stagnation from all for the lives of your people this morning those who are stagnant those who are complacent those who are lazy we bind the spirit of laziness in the name of Jesus yes God your word says it is a sin to feed a lazy man we come against laziness in the name of Jesus father release the oil of productivity upon your people this morning in the name of Jesus we will be productive in the earth realm we will take our rightful position in the name of Jesus father we will not fall under the spirit of religion yes God Yes, God, we will not violate spiritual laws, but God, everything that you said we should do, we will do as children of the most high God. Father, your word declares, Father, Lord God, you have given us power and dominion, oh God, oh power to, oh God, dominate everything in the earth realm. Father, you gave us a mind Activate our mind this morning in the name of Jesus. Give us the mind of Christ that we will begin to think. Oh God. Father, you love thinkers. That's why you give us a mind. Give us a productive mind, God. Some of us minds is too lazy. Yes, God, stagnant. Dormant, wake up the minds in this house this morning. Let there be a stirring. Yes, God, in the name of Jesus, 
Father, you say, so a man think it, so is he God. Yes, God, let us begin to think, oh God, greatness. Father, take our minds out of the box, out of stagnation this morning, in the name of Jesus. Yes, God. Yes, God, give us witty ideas this morning. In the name of Jesus. Father, oh God, we come against the lazy minds. Oh God, Ropokoshata. We speak over the minds of your people this morning. We command the minds in this house to come alive in the name of Jesus. Yes, God, the minds that does not think. Father, they don't even want to read. Mighty God, the everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. We are children of the Most High God. Yes, God, we must stand out we must shine yes God we must dominate we are not mere mortals yes God but we are sons of God father your word declares you're waiting on the sons of God to arise yes God that you can use us in the earth realm in the name of Jesus father break every shackles Break every bars of iron that holds your people in this house in captivity, God, in the name of Jesus. Oh God, arise. Yes, God, begin to move in this house this morning. We command our minds to come in alignment to the word of God. Yes, God. Yes, God, we command that innovative spirit inside of you uh, to begin to begin to rumble kataskataya reke sheke tonda labasata. Yes, God, we bind the spirit of fear and intimidation. Father, you have not given us a spirit of fear, but power, love, and of a sound mind this morning. We decree and declare a sound mind. We bind the spirit of distraction, God. Yes, God, the enemy comes to distract us from our purpose. He distracts us with the cares of life. Yes, God. God, we bind the spirit of distraction this morning. We will not be distracted by our bills. We will not be distracted by our problems. Yes, God, financial problems. Oh, God, marital problems. Problem on the job. Problem at school, God. Problem in the house. Problem in the family, God. We will not be distracted in the name of Jesus. Yes, God, we will take the bull by the horn this morning in the name name of Jesus yes God because we are children of the most high God yes God almighty we are the head and not the tail this morning we are above and not beneath yes we are the righteousness of God we are joint ears with Christ Jesus yes God we have more than enough 
God, you have given us and equipped us uh, with everything that we need to prosper. That's what you say, God. In your word, we're reminding you this morning, uh, you're not a man uh, that you should lie, God. Uh, we are reminding you uh, what your word says concerning us. Uh, Father, there must be uh, a manifestation uh, of your power and your glory in our lives this morning. Uh, oh God, we will not stay uh, on the back burner anymore uh, but I call your people forth uh, from the back to the front uh, to take their rightful position uh, in the kingdom of God uh, in the name of Jesus Father we are not beggars Father, we will not wait on and out. Yes, God, we will not go down to social service and stand in the line, God, as beggars. When we are able, God, when we are capable, God, Father, you said you have equipped us with everything that we need to prosper this morning. You have equipped us with health and strength. You have equipped us, oh God, with ideas. Yes, God, let the Katalaba Shandai, everything that you have placed on the inside of us, God, come alive this morning in the name of Jesus. Hey. You're waiting on us, God. Father, you're waiting on us. You're waiting on us to arise. You're waiting on us to study. You're waiting on us to research. You're waiting on us, God, to step out, to launch out into the deep, to throw our nets out, God. Father, you're waiting on us. Father, you're waiting on us to arise. You're waiting on us this morning to get up from that place of laziness, from that place of mediocrity. Theocrity God. Father, we are standing in the place of limitation, in the place of mediocrity. But God, you're calling us out from mediocrity, God, into a place, oh God, of excellency. This morning, in the name of Jesus, yes, God, we come out of the box, we tear the box apart in the name of Jesus. Yes. Yes, God, we step out into the deep because your word says deep call it unto deep in the name of Jesus father we will not stay in the shallow and die but God we will go into the deep where the inner things of God are where inner riches where greatness is yes God where there is no limitation in the name of Jesus Father, we quote the scripture every day. The wealth of the wicked is laid up for the righteous. But the righteous has to come into alignment, God. What are we doing, God, for the transfer? Yes, God. We must be ready, God. Yes, God, we must be prepared. Preparation, God. Equal success. We must be prepared. Yes, God, we must be ready. Yes, God, for the transfer. Get ready, people. Get ready. Get ready for the transfer. If you're not ready, you will not get that transfer. Equip yourself. Things will not just fall from out of heaven. There's laws that governs the universe. The word of God says, study to show thyself approve. Yes, God. Yes, 
Tolobo Sata. Help us this morning, God, to be ready. Yes, God, in every area of our lives, emotionally, God, ready for the transfer. Mentally, God, ready for the transfer. Physically, God, ready for the transfer. We must be ready. Yes, God, in every area of our lives. Yes, God, in every capacity this morning. In the name of Jesus. Repo Shatai. Yes, God, get us ready here. Yes, God, for the souls that are coming in in the name of Jesus. Father, anoint your people in this house. Father, everyone that came here this morning with their cups upturned. Oh, God, ready to receive. Father, let them not leave here the same way they came. Those who came for a word. Father, give them that word this morning give them the confirmation that they need oh God in the name of Jesus those who came for healing father your word says by your stripes we are healed and healing is your children's bread there is healing in this house this morning there is deliverance God Anyone that comes believing that it's already done, God, they will receive this morning in the name of Jesus. They will not leave empty-handed. Father, anoint the speaker this morning. Father, put fire in their mouth, fire in their belly, God, that will quench every fiery dart of the enemy this morning. Yes, God, anoint the moderator. Set them ablaze. Set them on fire, God. The musicians, anoint their fingers. Anoint them this morning. Yes, God, to play under the anointing of the Holy Spirit. This morning, God, set them on fire for you. Yes, God, set them ablaze. Oh, God, that when they begin to play, like when David played, oh, he drove out demonic forces out of King Saul Father let your glory cloud come down in this house this morning God we need to see you we need an encounter with you this morning in the name of Jesus Father fill the hearts of your people this morning those who are frustrated those who feel like giving up they're tired of being tired yes God they're saying when you're gonna work this thing out for me God I need an answer yes God answer them speedily let them know God that your ears are not stopped up your eyes are not blind you see and you know everything and nothing is too hard for you this morning in the name of Jesus. Yes, God, we pray over your people this morning. Father, release the spirit of praise and worship in this house this morning in the name of Jesus. Yes, God, that they will begin to worship you. They will begin to praise you this morning. Father, release the spirit of praise in this house this morning. That your people will begin to worship your God. We command the heavens to be open this morning. We command the heavens to be open. Miracle signs and wonders. Release your angels this morning, God, to assist in this house. Father, let deliverance and breakthrough take place. Those who the enemy, yes, God, have hijacked. Oh, God, he has confiscated. He has imprisoned. 
Father, I decree and declare in the name of Jesus that they will be delivered and set free. The yokes and the shackles will be broken in the name of Jesus. Yes, God, because it's already done. It's already done. We decree and declare this morning. It's already done. It's already done. It's already done. It's already done. Yes, it's already done. It's already done, God. It's already done. It's already done. Yes, it's already done. It's already done, God. It's already done. You will be glorified in all of this because it's already done. Yeah, 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 yeah. Begin to move God in this house this morning. Move God from bench to bench. Locate every person this morning. Yes, God, locate. Yes, God, pour out your spirit in this house upon your people, God. Yes, God, pour out your spirit. Fill every void. Fill every emptiness. Yes, Jesus, we love you this morning. We shall back you, oh God. We give you glory. We give you praise this morning because of who you are. You're a mighty God. You're the everlasting Father. You're the Prince of Peace. You're the I am that I am. Yes, God, you're great. You're marvelous. And you're mighty. Yes, God, there was none before you. And there is none after you, oh God. Father, anoint the praise and worship. Yes, God, when they sing, let the glory come down in this house. In the name of Jesus, yes, God, let the people begin to worship you in spirit and in truth this morning. In the name of Jesus, yes, God, let the spirit of worship engulf us in this house this morning. Yes, God, we will not have to be pumped to worship you because we come with a praise and a worship in our mouth we come ready to dance this morning anoint our feet oh God yes God we will dance like David dance yes God Oh, Holy Spirit, come and abide with us this morning. Come and assist us this morning, Holy Spirit. Take us to another level this morning, to another dimension, oh God. In the name of Jesus, Ababa Soto. You live in the ocean of Monday. Oh, 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 Ho kasatai mindiebe sendiebe here. Open events. We command the events to be opened. Over a bakasha to rebandie sanamandu. Let 
the wind of God begin to engulf this kotara bandiye. Fini amani anion sunion sunion sunion. Unini ni mion sunan sunien sunien sunien. Ina manye shana manzu. Masukuri bandi lebe shina mandu. Ina manye hey 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 hey. You are here, God. You are here, man. You are here, the Abasete Kito. Mama, 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 Yes, God, it is a There's a voice crying out in the wilderness. Rakusete kataban the emotion amandaya. Yes, God. There is a sound, there is a sound in the Yasu. There is a sound, there is a sound in the Basaye. Akashatai. I hear the chariot, Simon de Alabasando. I see the horses galloping. Mako Shinemanye. Urabaye. Rabaman yele masatu tapin mandele be satai tapin mandele be satu tapin mandie shatala bashando tapin mandile be sete I hear the sound I hear the sound Ramakita ye I hear the sound. Oh, yes, attack it. Elevation of Mando. Have your own way, Holy Spirit. Move in this house. He bele be set a lebi o shanda ye kitai. Bele be ba kunjene ne no chinamasatu. Yes, God, have you on a mark who share the Baba Sunday? Visit your people this morning. Visit your people this morning. Visit your people. Visit your people this morning. Visit your people this morning. Visit your people this morning. Visit us, God. We need a visitation. Mama, 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 Sunday. Yes, God, we thank you this morning. We give you glory, God. We give you praise. We give you honor, oh God. We thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. this morning surely the presence of the Lord is in this place today hallelujah hallelujah thank you Jesus we glory your name Jesus for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life 
We love Jesus this morning because he first loved us. And all he asked us to do is to worship him and keep his commandment. The Bible says that is the whole duty of man. So today we are in here to do nothing but worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Because we love him because he first loved us. We're going to sing, I love him because he first loved me first this morning. I love him, I love him, because he first loved me, and purchased my salvation on Mount Calvary. Come on, lift your hands. I love him. I love him. Because he first loved me. a wonder in my soul. He's a wonder in my soul. He's a wonder in my soul. I bless his name. song we're going to sing is to God be the glory great things he has done to God be the glory great things he has done so Through Jesus. 
to Jesus today. We're going to sing, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord, yes, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, yes, Lord. Amen. I'm trading my soul. joy of the Lord. I'm trading my sorrow. I'm trading my shame. I'm laying them down for the joy of the Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord, yes, yes, Lord, amen. I'm trading my sickness. I'm trading my shame. I'm laying them down for the joy of the Lord. Them down 
down for the joy of the Lord. your spirit this morning. Say yes to Jesus. Come on. Clap your hands and open up your mouth. You're going to say yes to Jesus today. Oh, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, yes, Lord. Amen. Yes, Lord, you're saying yes to him. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, yes, Lord. Total surrender. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, yes, Lord. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. How many of you this morning the enemy tried to prevent you from being here? How many of you this morning, come hell or high water, you decided that you were going to be here? Glory to God. Hallelujah. The Lord woke me up at about four something this morning and he said, many are called, but few are chosen. And I said, but what do you mean by that? And he said, because you are chosen, 
Anyone that has been chosen have to go through hell and high water. Jesus was chosen. Come on. All of the people that were chosen, look what they went through. They had to run for their very lives. And sometimes we're looking for an answer from God. And he will wake you up in the middle of the night and he will just say one thing. And you will have to figure it out for yourself. He's not going to come down and feed it, spoon feed it to you piece by piece. He gives you wisdom, knowledge, and understanding to dissect his word. And so when he tells you many are called but few are chosen, who is he talking to? He's telling you that you are chosen. And he's answering a question that you may have asked him. You may have asked him throughout the course of the week, throughout the course of the month, or throughout the course of the year. You may have said, why me? And he, exactly minister, why not me? But we never ask why not me. What we ask, why me Lord? What have I ever done to deserve this that I am going through. We always think that it's something bad that we have done. Like Job, his friends thought that it was because he sinned. And sometimes you want to turn back and go back into the world where things were nice and easy. But you chose a life of Christianity. And that life comes with persecution. It comes with being hated without a cause. Those that are close to you will persecute you and say all manner of evil against you falsely. In other words, and tell lie upon you. The Bible put it nice. And you should not try to state your case. Just sit back and relax and watch God take care of it for you. I say, I know it is rough. But the word says, Hey, he may not take the thorn out. He's not going to remove it. But he's going to give you the grace to go through the situation that you're going through. And when you go through like a soldier, you're going to come out like pure gold. Let me say, you're not going to come out like ghoul, but you're going to come out like pure gold. And so this morning when he tell me, many are called, but few are chosen. I said, but wait. I mean, you are talk. Look at me. We come from the country. Wash clothes and rock stone. Walk barefoot. Playing a full doo doo and all these things. And you tell me, say, me, you are talk to? And me, you are talk to? I'm telling you, the one in the back that was taking care of the sheep, his name wasn't even called. How many questions they had to ask and dig and dig. For them to remember. You are that one. Yes. You are the chosen one. And so this morning we're going to sing that song. You are a chosen generation. Call forth. To show God's excellence. Hallelujah. Why not you? Why not you, Pastor Abby? Why not you? The stone that the builder refused. When I thought about how I came into this world. Come on, somebody. Glory to God. I was considered a love child. The one that had to be hidden from everybody. Because my mother was the other woman. But look at God. All for to show is excellence. All I require for life, God has given me, and I know who I am. We are a chosen generation. Call for to show is excellence. 
All I required for life, God has given me, and I know who I am. I know who God says I am, what He says I am, where He says I'm at. I know who I am. I know who God says I am. You're walking. I'm walking in power. You're walking. I'm walking in miracles. You live a life of favor. I know. Come on, declare it. I'm walking in power. I'm walking in miracles. I live a life of favor. I know who I am. Come on, sing that song. Oh, 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 oh. I know who I am. who you are. You're not acting like it. Oh, 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 oh. I know who I am. Walking in favor. Walking in power. I'm walking in miracles. I live a life of favor. I know who I am. I'm walking in miracles. I live a life of favor. I know who I am. Take a look at me and my wonder. It doesn't matter what you see now. Do you see his glory? I know who I am. Take a look at me. I'm a wonder. It doesn't matter what you see now. Do you see his glory? I know who I am. I'm walking in power. I'm walking in miracles. I live a life of favor. I know who I am. I'm walking in power. I'm walking in miracles. I live a life of favor. I know who I am. This morning, you are a royal priesthood, a holy nation. Come on, somebody, glory to your name, Jesus. Hallelujah. Shut up, push. Hallelujah. You should have been dead. You should have been swallowed up by the enemy. But God says, No, you are the chosen one this morning. Hallelujah. We used to sing this little song in Sunday school. Prophet, and this morning I wanted to sing it, and I remember when I was little and going to Sunday school, I got joy, 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 joy down, down in my heart. Where? Down in my heart. Down in my heart. I've got the joy, joy, and joy, And I don't know joy, why. Down in my heart. Down in my heart to stay. Even when all hell broke it loose. Someone doesn't like it, but it's down here to stay. Hey. Down here Down, down in my heart, down in my heart, and then he told me, I got the peace that passes understanding. Down in my heart, down in my heart, down in my heart, I got the peace that passes understanding. Down in my heart, down in my heart, down in my heart, you say, come on, I got joy, and I'm so happy, so very happy. Oh, I've got the love of Jesus in my heart. And I'm so happy, so very happy. I've got the love of Jesus in my heart. Come on, sing that song. I got joy, 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 joy down in my heart. Down here. I said, down here to stay. Where? Down here to stay. I said, the devil doesn't like it, but it's down here to stay. Down in my heart to stay. I got the peace that passes understanding. Down in my heart. Come on, tell him. Down in my heart. Yes. Down in my heart. I got the peace that passes understanding. Down in my heart. Down in my heart to stay. 
I'm so happy, so very happy. I've got the love of Jesus in my heart. And I'm so happy, so very happy. I've got the love of Jesus in my heart. Come on, celebrate Jesus. Celebrate Jesus. Celebrate Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God this morning. Glory to God this morning. Glory to God this morning. Hallelujah. Liberty vision of hope. You have the peace that passes. All understanding down in your heart. I know your neighbors don't no like man. it, but it's down in your heart. I know they want us to get up and move, but it's down in our heart. No Hallelujah! 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 Jesus! Hallelujah! Glory to God this morning. Glory to his name 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 this morning. Glory to your name, Jesus. Thank you, 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 Jesus. With your Bible, Hallelujah, Hallelujah, no Hallelujah, Jesus, no way, no way, Hallelujah, no way, no way, Hallelujah, praise the Lord, Hallelujah, glory to God wonderful name of Jesus. We greet, request, we salute to the Holy Ghost today. Blessed the Holy Ghost, we welcome you, we honor you, Jesus, today in this place. I first give honor unto you, Jesus, because you are Lord of Lord. Glory to your name. I honor and I salute our prophet Lamore Brown, the pastors, minister, Abby, Pastor Abby Brown and Pastor Mel Mulgrave, the ministers in the house all protocol observe. Our scripture reading will be taken from Psalm 62. When we're going to read alternative, when you find it, please say amen. amen. Glory. Hallelujah. Jesus. Are you there? Our scripture reading goes as follows. Psalm 62. Truly my soul waited upon God, from him cometh my salvation. How long will he imagine mischief against a man? He shall be slain all of you, as a bowing wall shall he be, and as a tottering fence. My soul wait thou only upon God, for my expectation is from him. He only is my rock and my salvation. He is my defense. I shall not be moved. In God is my salvation and my glory, the rock of my strength, and my refuge is in God. Surely men of low degree are vanity, and men of high degree are a lie. To be laid in the balance, they are altogether lighter than vanity. God hath spoken once, twice have I heard this, that power belongeth unto God. 
uh, 12, and last we'll all read together. Also unto thee, O Lord, belongeth mercy, for thou renderest to every man according to his word. Here hands the reading of God's holy word. May God be pleased to have his blessing. We hand honor it by saying amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to your name, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Don't Hallelujah. sit down as yet. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Mm-hmm. I'm going to ask us just to raise another praise and worship song before Pastor Abby comes with the welcome. And then Minister Lopez will come with the announcement. Amen. Glory to your name, Jesus. I've got a feeling everything's going to be all right. I've got a feeling everything's going to be all right. I've got a feeling everything's going to be all right. Be all right, be all right. The Holy Ghost told me everything's gonna be alright. The Holy Ghost told me everything's gonna be alright. The Holy Ghost told me everything's gonna be alright. Be alright. Be alright. Be alright. Everything's gonna be alright. I've got a feeling that everything's gonna be alright. I've got a feeling everything's gonna be alright. Be alright. Be alright. Be alright. Who told you that? Holy Ghost. He told me everything's gonna. Who told you the Holy Ghost? He told me everything's gonna be alright. The Holy Ghost, he told me everything's gonna be alright. Be alright, be alright, be alright. Glory to God. And because it's the Holy Ghost that told you, he can never lie. Glory to God. The word cannot go back to God void. It must come back with an answer. Glory to God. Hallelujah. It's not your friend that told you. It's not your mother or your father that told you. It's not your co-worker or your boss that told you. But it's the Holy Ghost that told you that everything's going to be all right. And if that's the only word that you get today, that is a word to carry you through. Hallelujah. Glory to your name, Jesus. Whatever burden that you are carrying, whatever it is that you're praying about, sometimes it can come to a prophecy. Sometimes it can come to the spoken word by the man of God. And sometimes it can come through a song. Glory to God. You've heard it. The Holy Ghost said, everything is going to be all right. I now invite our very own Pastor Abby, who is coming to us with today's welcome. Give God thanks as she comes. Hallelujah. Let us stand and greet each other in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Let us greet somebody in Jesus' name. Let us tell them that you love them in Jesus' name. Everybody smile. Jesus. 
Hallelujah. It is a blessing indeed to greet other, each other in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. First, I would like to give honor to my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, who is not just the head of my life, but is my life. Amen. I welcome you all in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Are you here for a great time in the Lord? Come on, somebody. Can you just reassure the devil that you are here for a great time in the Lord? Come on. You, are you here for a great time in the Lord? Hallelujah. We want to acknowledge all our very special guests among us this morning to our first time and returning guests. We welcome you. Hallelujah. Are there any first time visitor among us this morning? Can you please stand? Tell us your name and who invited you this morning. Amen. Good morning, uh, my friends. Pastor, Miss Pastor invited me here to this church. Praise God. Yes, I know it through our brother. Me and our brother work together in Jamaica. Oh. We do build furniture and all stuff. So oh, nice. She Praise God. She deliver a package and she asked me to invite me to this church. Amen. Yes. Amen. Amen. Come here. on. Amen. Put your hands together for our visitor this morning. We welcome you, man of God. Feel free to worship with us. Amen. Thank you. Hallelujah. Very Glory be to God. Come on. Put your hands together for him one more time. Let him feel welcome on today. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You may have a seat. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Brothers and sisters, please put your hands together for all our leaders in your respective places. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Put your hands together for the evangelists the, uh, or evangelists, oh God, in this house today. Amen. Amen. Put your hands together for our, uh, uh, our administrative staff. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Or teachers, amen. Come on, put your hands together for our leaders or church mother this morning. Hallelujah. Is she here today? Praise God. Hallelujah. Come on, put your hands together for Mother Dixon in our midst. Hallelujah. Let us acknowledge our pastors and our ministers. Amen. Hallelujah. Come on, somebody. Can you just stand as we acknowledge Minister Samantha in our midst this morning? Amen. Hallelujah. And Minister Lopez, come on, put your hands together for her. Amen. Please acknowledge our deacon in our midst, Deacon Philip. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Put your hands together for Minister Roberts in our midst this morning. Hallelujah. Please put your hands together for Minister Sue in our midst. Hallelujah. Come on, celebrate our assistant, Pastor Mulgrave. In our midst this morning, we welcome you, woman of God. We thank God for the mantle God has placed upon your life. Amen. Please put your hands together for our musicians, people of God. Hallelujah. Put your hands together for our viewers on Facebook and YouTube this morning. Hallelujah. And last but not least, put your hands together for this great man of God, the shepherd of this great ministry. Come on, celebrate Prophet Lamoy Brown. We welcome you this morning, man of God. We thank God for the mantle he has placed upon your life. Amen. Amen. Come on, celebrate our leader some more. Hallelujah. And as we always like to conclude, amen, let's worship the Lord Jesus today in the beauty of holiness. Brace yourselves. Something good is about to happen. If you believe it, just give God some praise. Come on, somebody. If you believe it, just give God some praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I know hand over back to the moderator. God bless you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I now invite Minister Lopez to the podium right now for um, our announcements for the week. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Pastor. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Praise God from whom all blessings flow. Amen. 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 Our weekly services are as follows. Each and every Sunday right here in the sanctuary, we have youth and adult Sunday school, which commences at 1045 followed by our divine worship service that starts at 1130. Amen. Every Wednesday, we have our corporate fasting and prayer. We ask everyone to call in the conference line number provided on the back of your bulletins. Amen. So this week, we've already, some of us started the seven day fast, and that's only a few that's doing that. Uh, we ask 
the, the persons that are doing the seven-day fast to continue on to do that, please remember to call in also on the conference line at 6 a.m. and at 12 midnight. Amen? Amen? Starting tomorrow, which is the first Monday of the month, the first Monday, the first Tuesday, and the first Wednesday, all regular fasting and prayer still continues. Amen? You're going to continue to call on the conference line number at 6 a.m., at 12 noon, and then again at 3 p.m. Amen? Amen? At 8 p.m. on Wednesday nights, we close out with our Hour of Power prayer, once again on the conference line number, so please remember to call in at 8 p.m. on Wednesday. Every Thursday, we have Believer's Bible Study, which is also held right here in the sanctuary at 7.30 p.m. Um, we ask that you invite someone out to come on and fellowship with one another. This is your chance to get to ask the prophet questions. We participate and engage and dive deep. Amen. So please don't forget to tell your family, friend, your neighbor to come on out every Thursday right here in the Sanctuary for Believers Bible Study. Amen. Every Friday night right here also, we have Breaking Chains Midnight Prayer Hour, and that's again at midnight. It's also streamed live on Facebook and on YouTube. Amen. Amen. Every Saturday, we have evangelism between the hours of 10 a.m. and 3 p.m. If you'd like to be a part of the evangelism ministry, we ask you to see Pastor Mulgrave. Amen. Every first Sunday, today is first Sunday, is Communion Sunday. It's also Pastoral Sunday, and we always ask the congregation to please dress in white and every clergy to dress in their pastoral attire. It's also, if you notice in your bulletins, you'll see an envelope that says, Love on your pastor. Please remember that the man of God does not re um, receive a salary, so please love on him. Show him um, some monetary gifts today. Amen. Every second Sunday is Women's Sunday. Those that are part of the women's ministry, we ask that you dress in purple. Please do not forget your women's ministry dues of $25. It is due um, every month, the second of the month. Amen. Um, those dues go towards upcoming future events. Every third Sunday is Youth Sundays. Youth, please do not forget that you also have choir rehearsal at 6.30 on Thursdays. Amen. On fourth Sundays, it's Men's Sundays, and when there's a fifth Sunday, it is Missionary Sunday. Amen. Coming up for the upcoming events, Christ Like Worship Center has their annual prayer breakfast, which is this coming Saturday, March 9th at 9.30 a.m. Their donation cost is $35, and children under 12 is $20. We have tickets available for those that want to go to their annual prayer breakfast. Amen. Christ Light Worship Center is also having their 10th year anniversary service, which will be on April 7th, and they will provide further details to come as so far as the time and any other further information. Amen? Thank you. Liberty Vision of Hope is having, we are having our annual prayer breakfast on April 13th. Amen? Are you excited? Every year it gets bigger and bigger, but on April 13th, at 9 a.m., we have our annual prayer breakfast. Tickets are here. It's available. Please remember to see First Lady after church so, she, so that she can disseminate all the tickets. Amen? Um, the cost for the tickets are $40. Amen? So please start sharing it, posting it, and telling everyone to come on out. On April 28th, our sister church, Liberty Fellowship Deliverance Ministries, is having their pastor's appreciation service at the Surf Club in New Rochelle. Uh, the cost of the ticket is $150. We do have tickets also available, and they will also have Psalmist Pastor Jabez along with Second Chance. Amen? Liberty is also, we are having our pastor's appreciation service June 9th at 6.30 p.m. Amen? So please let us notate all these upcoming events. Amen? March 16th, which is a Friday at 7.30, the youth department is having and hosting a movie night. So please tell your neighbors, tell everyone that has children to come on out and support um, the youth department's movie night. Amen? Amen. 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 Last but not least, for the March birthdays coming up, tomorrow, which is the 4th, is Brother Kai Scott's birthday. Amen? Amen. That's Sister Judith Scott's son. Amen? Sister Ashley McIntosh is March 8th, amen, which is this Friday. Amen, amen. Mother Lorna Brown is on the 20th of this month, amen? Amen. 
Sister Patrice Davis is also on the 20th of this month. Amen. 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 Last but not least, our sister Trishara. Who? Minister Sue? Minister Sue, when is your birthday? The 28th. Minister Sue, I got to add that in. Minister Sue is the 28th, everyone. Amen. <laughs> And last but not least, Sister Trishara Brown is on the 30th. Amen, amen, amen. That concludes our weekly services and upcoming events. I'll now hand it back over to Pastor Mulgrave. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I said the presence of the Lord is surely in this place. And I just took it at liberty and just started worshiping God. And I did not honor our manservant this morning and I just want to say thank God for the Holy Spirit that can come and bring things back to your remembrance I know he's not gonna hold me hostage for it but I just want to make sure that I say it right that we honor you man of God we love you amen and we will show you all our appreciation at the uh, here but also more at your appreciation service because they usually say talk is cheap you have to prove it with your actions. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And for everybody in their respective places, I just want to say that I love you. I appreciate you. We don't say it enough, you know. And what happens is we see a lot of, um, we see a lot of people have a lot more words to say over a casket than they do to a live person. And Every time somebody passes away, it's a reflection that we don't say enough when they're alive. And we repent, but then we go back and we do the same thing again. And so today, I just want you to reflect on those that are around you. You see them today. Let them know how you feel about them. Appreciate them. It doesn't have to be their birthday it doesn't have to be a special time of the year. You never know what someone is going through. And you never know what that word that you say to that person, how it could help a situation. How it could change a mindset. How it could change a decision that they're about to make. Amen? Glory to God. Hallelujah. And so at this time, it's time to move into another segment of our worship. And that is our tithes and our offering. And I'm going to call forth the one that's anointed to ask for money. Her name is Minister Christine Roberts. Give God praise as she comes. Amen, 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 church. You know, so I'm going to come up in the most bright. Amen, man. Amen, church. Why, when you talk about money, they get quiet. Come on, the hurt is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. If the hurt is his, then it belongs to us. Amen? When Adam was here, God prepared everything for him. Amen? And it's the same thing for us too, because what? We have that because we? We have that because we? Amen? A blessed, blessed good morning to each and every one, to our apostle, our pastor, happy first lady, our sister, the pastor, and our minister, and everyone in our rightful place. A blessed, blessed good morning to our media. It's time for our tithes and offerings. So while doing that, please get together your tithes and your offering. And I was reminded yesterday by our faithful sister, say, when we do the tithe and offering, we mustn't forget the what? The building what? What? The building funds. Amen. 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 Because guess what? Without a building, we cannot come and worship. We just come here for time and time and time until we can't time and time no more. Amen. So we want our home building. So we all who have them little bottle big like this at home, please come and bring it. Put it right beside this one. Do you hear what our sister and pastor said? Bring it and put it right here. And those who have it in a bottle, bring it and put every chain, every what? Every silver. We call it the paper one too. You see all them put up the bottle? You can't see it. So we take any currency. If you have Pong, Canadian, Dubai, whatever you call it, we put it in here. Amen? Amen, church? 
I'm talking to those on the media line too. You can cash and, and, and zell. Amen, church? Amen. Listen, I said money is a spirit. If, same as what we call it money. We have to learn to give money. You can't call it when you don't like give. Amen? Okay, let us read the Bible. And it's taken from Malachi 3, reading from verse 7 to 11. Even from the days of your fathers, ye are gone away from my audience, and have not kept them. Return unto me, and I will return unto you, said the Lord of hosts. But he said, Wherein shall we return? Will a man rob God? Yet ye have robbed me. But he said, Wherein have we robbed thee? In tithes and in offerings. Ye are cursed with a curse, for ye have robbed me. Even this whole generation. Amen. Bring ye all the tithes into the storehouse, that there may be meat in my house, and prove me now herewith, said the Lord of hosts. Even I will not open up you the windows of heaven, and pour you out a blessing, that there shall not be room enough to receive it. Eleven and last. And I will rebuke the devourer for your sake, and he shall not destroy the fruits of your ground. Neither shall, he, neither shall your vine cast her fruit before the time in the field, said the Lord of hosts. Amen? Amen. 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 So uh, we're going to stand with the tithes and the offerings in your hand and whatever special offering you want, sacrificial offering, we take it the same and hear about the offering for our pastor. Many of us, you see, have to work really, really hard because you see this little offering, it cannot even take from it because the bill is so overwhelming. Amen. So please stand with me and hold the tithes and offering in your hand while we decree and declare. Amen. Please stand. I am a giver. I am a tither. I give in obedience to the word of God. And according to Malachi 3, 10, 13, I live on an open heaven. I am blessed. You sure? I am blessed with more than enough. I am protected from financial ruin. And all my efforts are highly profitable. For I am blessed by the hand of God. Are you blessed this morning? Yes. Are you blessed this morning? Yes. I am blessed. Come as the, as the hushers direct to come and place your offering on the altar. And please remember the bottle is right there. Amen. As um, praise and worship, praise a song. Amen. Okay. I know, I know that the musician love that song, you know. Amen. 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 Yes, favor. Come on, favor upon this, this morning. Amen. Amen. Favor. You overtake me with favor.
Amen. Please stand with me as we bless the offering this morning. And when you stand this morning, I want you to decree and declare whatever you are asking God. Because when you plant and you sow a seed, you expect an harvest. Amen. And we're not going to stop until we get it. Amen. Let us pray. Father, we thank you this morning, mighty God. Father, we thank you for the rain. We thank you for the sunshine, mighty God. Father, that you have given us a harvest that we can reap in the mighty name of Jesus. That we shall go rejoicing, bringing in the sheep. And this morning, Lord, as your people bringing the sheep this morning in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we decree and declare in the atmosphere, mighty God of Daniel. Father, that you will open the windows of heaven this morning. Lord God, bestow upon us this morning, Lord Jesus. Even that what he even sold this morning, Lord, Lord, you will give us into abundance in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord. Father, and for those who don't work, mighty God, for they said they bless the just and the unjust, and Father, we bless them just the same, mighty God of Daniel. Father, pray that you provide job for them in the mighty name of Jesus, so that they can come into your house, Lord, and bless you this morning. Father, as we ask for your blessing, Lord, let it be, Lord Jesus, a blessing to your storehouse this morning, to build up and to tear down Satan home in the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen and amen. 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 Turn over back to our minister, our pastor, Pastor Mark. God bless you, minister. Thank you so much. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. How many of you gave joyfully this morning? How many of you gave from a willing heart this morning? Nobody forced you this morning. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. With no further ado, I'm going to call forth our very own prophet, Lamoy Brown. At this time, I will introduce to some and I will present to others our very own, our prophet, our apostle, Lamoy Brown. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. Thank you so much, Pastor. As we stand in the presence of the Lord God. Amen. Come on, please stand in the presence of the Lord, everybody. Thank you, Lord. When I'm low in the spirit, I cry, Lord, lift me up. For I want to go higher in thee. For the Lord knows I can't stay on the mountain. So we picked out a valley for me. Can I sing it one more time? When I'm low in the spirit, I cry, Lord, lift me up for I want to go higher in thee. For the Lord knows I can't stay on the so we picked up. Come on, does anybody have a testimony? A valley for me. You know what? Jesus lead me beside still water. This song as dark as a dungeon where the sun shall turn shine. And I question, Lord, why must this be? Then he told me there is joy in my sorrow. There is victory 
in the triumph for me. I wish you could help me sing, yeah. Oh, Jesus, lead me beside. In my spirit some of you have been going through your valley experience you were used to being on the mountain top being on top of things but God sometimes will take us through a process where he just strip us of everything but while he's stripping us just like the eagle when the eagle would isolate itself in the mountain and just lose Ah, uh, just lose or shed itself of every feather. But ah, uh, God, my God, the eagle was just renewing his strength. For they that uh, wait upon the Lord, they shall renew their strength. I wish you could look at somebody and say, neighbor, your strength is being renewed right now. For you are in the valley experience. But God is renewing your strength. Is renewing your strength. For weeping may endure for a night. But joy comes in the morning. Yeah. yeah, yeah. A star. As a dungeon where the sun shall don't shine and I question Lord why must why me why me but then he told me there is joy in my sorrow yeah. and there's victory in the trials for me you know what eh? Jesus lead me beside still water oh somewhere in the valley below in the valley below and it true Lead me beside still water. Come on, help me sing the song. Oh, somewhere in the valley, falling below. Come on, why will you lift your hands towards heavens? I need you, me, to be tested. Come on, lift those hands, everybody. Come on, let's do it one more time. Lift your voices and say, Yes, Jesus, lead me. Besides the water, I prophesy to somebody today, you are coming out better than you were before. Though you might have experienced the valley, you are about to be elevated onto the mountain top again. A shine to be tested. In the valley, he restored my soul. In the valley, he restored my soul. He restored my soul. In the valley, he restored my soul. Come on, somebody shout, Lord. Come on, open your mouth, somebody, and shout, Lord. Let me see the end of all those who are fasting today. One, two, three, four. Who's on fasting? Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Are you on fasting? 
Hallelujah. So we have about nine, nine person fast, and include, include ten, include myself. So it's not everyone that's on fasting. The Bible says, lift up your voice like a trumpet and sound the alarm. Uh, the Lord laid it on my heart for us to do a seven day juice and water fast. And that started from last Friday. So today marks the third day. Whenever the Lord gives me a word, amen, glory to Jesus, and I release it into the atmosphere, it is up to you if you want to tap into it. Amen? But if you understand obedience, it brings blessing. And if God tells me to do seven days, I experience an overflow in the month of January. And God says you need to do it again. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Come on, somebody. But while we are fasting throughout these seven days, you are allowed, we are allowed to drink water while we are fasting. We are allowed to drink juice while we are fasting. So you're not going to die. It's not a total dry fast. It's not a fast where you only eat fruits and vegetables after we have finished fasting. So this is pretty easy. Amen, somebody. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. So I need every person in the house to put in your energy. Put in your energy. Hallelujah. I need to join hands with somebody beside you. Because we're going to pray one more time. Find somebody. Hold their hands. You're coming in agreement with that person. Stand with me. Young and old, please stand with me. I rebuke every laziness in the house. I bind and cast out that lazy spirit. Corporation, corporate with zeal, accomplish what zeal alone can't. Amen. Oh Jesus. Oh Jesus. Oh Jesus. Sweet Holy Spirit, sweet Heavenly Dove, stay right here with us, filling us with your love, and for each blessing. Oh, we lift our hearts in prayer. Without a doubt, we know we have been when we shall leave this place. Sweet Holy Spirit, mm, yeah, sweet. Heaven leader, stay right here with us. Lebendi zata bahakata, korabandi zata bahando. Let there be a release today, Father. Let there be. An unction in this house today, O oh Father. By the power of your Holy Ghost. By the power of your Holy Ghost. For it is not by might nor by power, O oh God, but by your Spirit. Oh, Shatarabai. In the mighty name of Jesus, I announce that your angels are already here. Position themselves. Ready to move, oh God. I command them to move now. We arrest every demonic power, we arrest every demonic forces in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Father, I arrest every power that is not of your power. Lord, I release the spirit of worship. Let there be a mighty move of your glory. Let the Shekinah glory of God begin to tabernacle now. 
let your people oh father begin to open up their mouths and begin to worship you in the mighty name of jesus christ open your mouth right now church come on open your mouth and begin to praise him while you're holding that hands open your mouth and begin to praise god open your mouth and begin to bless his name hallelujah we worship the name of the lord jesus come on praise him praise him praise him come on praise him praise him praise him come on thank him for who he is thank him for what you want for him hallelujah begin to thank him begin to thank him come on open him up and begin to praise him hallelujah come on shout out praise unto the lord somebody shout a worship unto the lord somebody fill our hearts with your glory oh god fill our hearts with your glory oh god fill us oh god with your power today in the name of jesus christ of nazareth let us experience oh god your shekinah glory let the 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 glory let your people be strengthened let your people be empowered let your people be lifted up on high oh god let depression be far from us in the name of jesus Shama, you are there, Emmanuel, you are with us, Emmanuel, you are with us, hallelujah, hallelujah, somebody shout, Lord, have your way today, come on, somebody shout, Lord, have your way today, come on, say, Lord, work a miracle for me today, come on, open up and say, Lord, work a miracle for me today, There be and no words to say. Come on, tap into it. Oh, Loose those hands right now. And begin to give the Lord your, your best praise, your best offering. Oh, the glory is here when the glory comes. There be no words to say. Oh, 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 oh. When the glory comes, there be no words to say. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. When the glory comes, there be no words to say. No, no. Oh, oh, oh. Come on, lose yourself in the presence of the Lord. Stop being a spectator, be a participator. Tell me no words to say. Oh, 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 oh. Come on, somebody. When the glory comes, oh, my the glory is coming right now. When the glory comes, yeah, there ain't no words to say. No, no. Oh, oh, oh. Come on, open them up and touch the Lord right now. Say, when the glory comes, hey, there ain't no words to say. I speak peace over your life. Oh, oh, oh. I speak fulfillment over your lives. I speak the joy of the Lord over your life. For the glory is coming now. Come on, Lord Jesus, touch your people. Oh, 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 I command the hand of God to move in this house. Let the Let the Let the Let the glory. And the glory. There be no words to say. Oh, oh, oh. 
come on express yourself to the Lord Jesus so when the glory comes So when the glory comes, God is shifting your atmosphere. God is turning things around for your good. For what the enemy thought was evil for you, God is not turning around for your good. Come on, somebody. The glory is here. When the glory comes, I challenge you, lift your hands towards heaven and wave them in the presence of the Lord. When the glory comes, tell me the words you say. When the glory comes, there be no words to say. Come on, are you looking to me or are you looking to Jesus? Are you looking to me or are you looking to Jesus? He is the author and the finisher of your faith. Mm. God wants to do something for you today. God wants to do something for you today. For when the praise goes up, the blessings will come down. Come on, tap into it, somebody. Yeah, oh, 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 oh. So when the glory comes, hey, my shatter Oh, Oh, Jesus, my Lord. Jesus my Lord Jesus my Lord Jesus my Lord Jesus my Lord yes. when your glory comes tell me the words you say when the glory comes Wherever you are right now, just take a minute. Bow before his presence. Let's kneel before the Lord right now. As you kneel, just lift both hands to heaven. If you have a sick need, just trust God for your healing. Act in obedience. Don't mind the dress or the pants getting dirty. It is God that gives you power to get wealth. Honor him right now. Honor him right now on your knees. Lift both hands to heaven. As you kneel before his presence. For the glory comes, there be no words to say. Oh, oh. We bow before you, Abba Father. We honor your presence today, Holy Spirit. We honor your presence today, Almighty God. 
For if we bow to you, you will cause us to stand before great men. If we honor you, O Kataya Bahai, Rebe Eshakatabahandi, you will cause us to stand before great men. We bow before you now. Come on, somebody open him up and worship him. As you are bound before his presence, worship him. Hey, man, the glory Father in the name of Jesus let there be a sweeping of your spirit let there be a move of your glory let there be a movement right now God Let there be a movement now, our Lord. Let there be no words to say, no. Oh, yeah. Hallelujah. When the glory comes, there'll be no words to say. God is healing some of you. God is healing some of you. Your heart, your heart needs healing. Your spirit needs healing. God is mending and putting the broken pieces back together. Even right now, God is giving you rest. Some of you have been troubled, but God is giving you rest. Some of you have been weary, but God is giving you rest. Yes, God. I release rest. I release rest. I release rest. Let me walk. I command you walk. I command you walk. Let it be your people's portion today. Rest from all the heartaches and pain. Rest, oh God, rest. Oh, we will have no words to say no. Oh. oh, oh. Hallelujah. 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 I speak to burdens right now to be lifted. Hallelujah. Lord, we love you. Yeah, yeah. Lord, we love you. We worship you. Lord, we love you. Come on, I hear in my spirit. Thus said the Lord as you begin to worship him. Doors will begin to be opened up right now for you this week. As we go throughout today, in the name of Jesus, doors begin to be open. I command doors of favor for you. Be open. I command doors of miracle for you. Be open. I command doors of provision. Be open. I command doors, doors of breakthrough. Be open, be open, be open, be open. Hallelujah. Yeah, yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Father, as we fast. As we commit ourselves to fasting, we command the hand of God to move. We demand the heaven to respond, oh God, on our behalf. In the name of Jesus, plead our cause, oh God. Plead our cause, oh God. Plead our cause, oh God. 
let the struggles be over let the struggles be over I command a stop to any struggle I command a stop to any struggle The cycles are breaking. The cycles are breaking. Hallelujah. Yeah. Stand up with me. Hallelujah. Oh, oh, oh. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, God, yes. Hallelujah. Lord, we love you. Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Lord, we love you. Yeah. Come on, where the worshippers at? Where the worshippers at today? Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, where the worshippers at? You know what you need from God. You know what you need from God. You know what you need from God. Come on, lift up your voices and praise Him. Lift up your voices and praise Him. Don't put a limit on God right now. Can you lift the voices? Lord, we love you. Lord, we love you. Lord, we we love. Yeah, Lord, we love Jesus. Come here, I'm Minister Sue, Minister Smith. Yes, God. Lord, we love you. your name father come on say in the spirit saints say in the spirit let's say the lord god many are the afflictions of the righteous but he delivers them out of them all many might not see the pain many might not know the heartaches and the struggles that you're going through. They know you travel almost two hours to get here every Sunday. And you're here before most of us. But yet still, so many is happening. 
and you still find it to push through. And God wants you to know that even though you have been afflicted, the time is come now. I, I, don't, I, don't know if you, I don't know if you hear me. It's not going to come, but the time is come now. As David said, I was glad that I was afflicted. The afflictions that you've been through, God is going to use as a testimony for the glorification of his name. And you're going to look back on these days and say, God, I thank you for giving me the tenacity to push through the fire, to go through all these that I've been through. Because there are some people that are going to be saved by your mouth, by your testimony. And I want to encourage you, keep pressing through your fire. For weeping may endure for a night, but your joy is coming in the morning. Hey, Jesus. As I anoint you, as I touch you, thus said the Lord God, rest. Rest is now your portion. A few Sundays ago, the Lord revealed in my spirit. We before last week, we spoke about re uh, re the release. And God allowed me to embark on grace, our favor, never find favor. And I'm going to explain to you why God allowed me to do it because I never understood the reason why. But today the Lord allowed me to, to put together something on the word called Newark, which simply means rest. The three words the Lord gave me was release, rest, and restore. And I'm going to embark on the next one, restore, as the Lord leads me. Amen, somebody. But as we have been released, God says we have now encountered or entered into our season of resting. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, as I lay my hands upon her, let the blessings, the favor that's on my life, let it be transferred to her now. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Favor in her business. Favor, oh God, in her ministry. That you have released in her hands, oh God, my Father. Let the worrying be over. Let the season of stress be over. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Let the cycles be broken right now. Come on, somebody say, Lord, break the cycle. Come on, say, Lord, break the cycle. Hey, I release strength upon you. I release strength upon you. In the name of Jesus, strength upon you. Strength upon you. For you are about to encounter new wings. New wings. New wings, said the Lord God. As you have now encountered your season of resting, you shall begin to grow new wings. Receive new wings. Receive new wings. Receive new wings. Receive new wings in the name of Jesus. Receive new wings in the mighty name of Jesus. I anoint your hands for greatness. I anoint your hands to prosper. I, I command money to begin to locate you, to bombard you. Like never before. Lord my God, let the angel of favor. Locate your woman servant. Restore unto her the joy, the peace, and the wealth. In the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Come on, clap your hands to the Lord, somebody. Come on, lift your voices, everyone, and say, Lord, strengthen me. Come on, say, Lord, strengthen me. Come on, say, Lord, strengthen me. The Lord bless you and keep you. In Jesus' name. Ah. Oh God, my Father. Can you stand with me for a minute? Let's go to St. Matthew chapter 11, I believe. 
I want to greet all my leaders in the house, all our ministers, amen, all our evangelists. I want to thank God and especially acknowledge our assistant pastor, Natish Mulgrave, amen. Glory to Jesus. Thank you so much to all of our, our visitors that's here today, our viewers on, face, on Facebook and YouTube, amen. Wherever you are tuning in from, we appreciate you being here with us, lending us your ears and your eyes, amen. Glory to God, hallelujah. We are not, amen, worthy, but we thank you so much for gracing us with your presence. Thank God for my beautiful wife and our children, amen. Pastor Abby Brown, amen. amen. Bless the Lord, bless the Lord, bless the Lord, amen. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Uh, she was in uh, New Jersey preaching yesterday, amen. and I believe she was a blessing. Amen. Glory to Jesus. Amen. 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 Matthew chapter 11, verses 28 through to 29. Uh, let's read right through to verse 30 from verse 28. Matthew chapter 11. Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden. And I will give you what? I will give you what? Take my yoke upon you and learn of me, for my yoke is meek. I am meek and lowly in heart. And he shall find what? Rest for your soul. Verse 30. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory. Amen. Glory to Jesus. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, Amen. rest. Amen. Look at somebody else, man. Come on. The person that never responded to you, look at somebody and tell them, neighbor, rest. 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 Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Be seated for a few minutes. For the next few minutes, I'm going to try my best to break this down as best as I can. Time is gone, but we have already given the Lord um, some worship. Amen. And so I'm going to try to give you some word. I doubt if I'll be able to go through um, all of that which I have to share with you. Are you feeling hot down there? The heat is not on, so can we turn on those two ACs on this side, please? Amen. Hallelujah to Jesus. All right, you can leave that. They will turn on the AC. Glory to Jesus. I want to cast your eyes a little bit on the book of Genesis. As we um, try to um, tie this in, Genesis, Genesis, bless you, Genesis chapter number one, as a matter of fact, let's go to chapter two, Genesis chapter two. Jesus, we love you. Are you there with me in your Bibles? Genesis chapter 2. Amen. Thank you so much for coming, sir. We welcome you one more time. Thank you for gracing us with your presence. And we do pray and hope that today will not be your last day. Amen. Genesis chapter 2. Verse number 1 right through to verse 3. Thus the heavens and the earth were finished. What were they doing what? They were finished. Get this. Because this is a revelation the Lord gave me and I'm going to try to break it down as best as I can. As I oftentimes tell you, the things that we were taught growing up in the church, it is based on the level of understanding that the forefathers had back in the days. Amen? But we know that knowledge increased, right? Glory to, soon, very soon, you will see, you'll see, you'll, you'll soon have cars flying in the air. Amen. Before cars flying in the air, we had just donkeys and horses. Yes. What else? 
Or did they start already? Amen. And chariots. That's what we had before. Amen. But can I tell you that even in the Bible, it was prophesied that there shall be airplanes, helicopters. It was it's in the Bible. Amen. But there are things that we were taught um, many years ago. And it's like God had just given a little glimpse. A little glimpse. Because God works in, in, with his people according to our level of faith. Are you there with me? And he deals with, he, he, he deals with us according to dispensations, times. He reveals himself over dispensations. Amen. So the Bible says in the last days knowledge shall increase. And so not just worldly knowledge, but the knowledge of who God really is, the how he operates, hallelujah, the, 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 the history of the past. Just as though the man that's called Moses that penned the first five books, amen, God, Moses was not there. Are you there? Moses was not there when God created the heavens and the earth. But in the realm of the spirit, God showed him how it was done. And Moses recorded it. Are you there with me? So a few months ago, the Lord gave me this revelation. And I, I, I never shared it with you guys because I don't feel it was time yet. When we talked about the trees in the Garden of Eden and what the trees did and as a result of what Satan did. And when I studied this in verse 2, I realized that even the very trees, before they were planted in the earth, brothers and sisters, they were already inside God. And anything that comes out of God, it possesses knowledge. It possesses something that is of use. Trees gives us energy. It gives us oxygen. It gives us food. It gives us what? Medicine. Can I tell you something else? It gives us wisdom. Hello? <laughs> Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Uh, so this is what the Lord showed me. And thus the heavens and the earth were finished. And all the host of them. Uh, on the seventh day. Somebody say seventh day. seventh day. The seventh day God ended his work which he had made. Watch this. And he rested on the seventh day from all his work which he had made. And God blessed the seventh day and sanctified it. Because that in it he had rested from all his work which he, God, created and... Now you got to understand this. Read the Bible with understanding. There's a difference between... Something being created and something being made. Hallelujah. The Bible says that in the beginning, God created. Are you, are you following me? So the earth was empty. The atmosphere was empty. And God created something out of nothing. In other words, there was no matter and God created matter. Are you there with me? Hallelujah. So the earth is a created sphere. Hallelujah. And from the earth, God made man. Are you following? There is a difference between something being created and something being made. That which is made is made from that which is created. You have to have something to work with in order to have something made. Uh, if you, when you buy a car, the, 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 the instructions about the car, it talks about make and model. You don't see anything about being created because the car was made. Now, the car was made from a created material. Are you with me? So God, the Bible says God created everything. And he, he created the dust. And from the dust he made. Are you following me now? So God did all of that. Made his hand dirty. Caused his hand to be dirty. And fashioned man from the dust. And established everything. 
And the Bible says on the seventh day, he rested. He rested from all his work which God created and made. But, but pastor, when I saw this, the Lord blew my mind because I've never heard this in my life. And the Lord says, son, right there, even though I took a little rest, it was not an eternal rest. Are you with me? The Lord says, my creative ability, it never stopped there. I only rested. I'm going to show you something. When God, in, ver in chapter 1, uh, you're all silent, which is good. It means that you are intaking some stuff. Watch me. Verse 26. What verse 26 says? And God says, let us make man in our image and after our likeness. And let them have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the fowl of the air and over the cattle and over all the earth and over every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth. So, so right here, God made man in his image and in his likeness, right? Verse 27 says, so God created man in his own image. And in the image of God created he him, watch this, male and female created he them. So this was the first set of man that God created. Uh, I'm going to blow your minds today. This was the first set of beings that God created. And many folks might ask, might ask the question, well, pastor, when, um, when, when, when Cain slew his brother and he went about and found wives, how was he able to find wives? Here is the answer. There were people already in the earth. When you read the Bible, you've got to read it with understanding. Are you, are you with me today? Amen. Are you with me today? So that was the first set of man that God created in the earth. And God says, be fruitful and multiply. Ay, ay, ay. Now we go over to chapter 2. Listen, look what God did. After he established man on the earth and positioned them in, 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 in the different areas and gave them food, the Bible says God rested from that aspect of it. Now watch this. What I need you to understand is the earth, the earth, it is God's garden. And we learned this in our Bible study for those of you who weren't here. The earth is God's garden. And God created the earth for his own good pleasure. And he placed you and I inside this earth for his own good pleasure. So when you win and beat the enemies, but the God of heaven rejoices because his child or his children is winning the enemy. The Bible says the angels in heaven, they rejoice. So God takes pleasure when you win and, and, and run this race with patience. God takes good pleasure in seeing you winning. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All right, so I want you to see what I'm going to show you in the Bible. Verse number four of chapter two. Let's jump over to verse number four. God, time is going. These are the generations of the heavens and of the earth when they were created in the day that the Lord God had made the earth and the heavens. Every plant of the field before it was in the earth and every herb of the field before it grew. Watch this. For the Lord God had not caused it to rain upon the earth. Amen. And there was not a man to till the ground. But, he, but there went up a mist, mist from the earth and watered the, the whole face of the ground. Verse 7. And the Lord God formed man from the dust, from the ground. And breathe into his nostrils. And breathe of the breath of life. And man became a living soul. Verse number 8. And God planted a garden eastward in Eden. So in the earth, God planted a garden eastward in Africa. Hello? 
He placed the garden and he put man whom he had formed in it. Now the name of this man was now called Adam. Even though man and woman were both called Adam. But this Adam was a special Adam. That God positioned in the garden. Amen. To fellowship with him and to watch over this garden. Mm. Are you there with me? So God was not finished working. He continued working. He just took a little break, a little rest. And we, the reason why God did this was to show us that we are supposed to treat our body good. We are not supposed to be working seven days of the week and take no rest for ourselves. I'm going to show you something. This is not something that is, that is, that, that is um, to be taken out of context. Because I'm going to show you even in the book of Hebrews where God talks about another rest. Hallelujah. Now, to prove to you that God, God never stopped working after he fashioned the earth. Isn't it our very same Bible that says the heavens are expanding? Hello? Isn't it our very same Bible that tells us that the heavens are expanding without measure? It is stretched out like a curtain. And there is nothing that can be done without God giving it permission to be done. Hello? Now, another proof. The Bible says in chapter 1, minister, that God placed two lights. How many Bible told us, told us about? Two lights. The greater light to rule the day and the lesser light to rule the day. So how many lights we have? Two. Now, we have scientists discovering that there are other planets out there. Who made them? How were they formed? Now, scientists have also discovered that there's more than one moon. Where did they come from? Where did they come from? Are you with me? Are you with me? So, even right now, they are discovering that there are some black holes that's in space. And when these black holes opens up and sucks in whatever is in its path, it is basically gone into a different world, a different realm, a different atmosphere. You see, we have been limiting God. Because I believe in my spirit, God does not want to be bored. And he's ever creating, he's always fashioning. And uh, that's what the Bible says, the heavens can't contain him. Jesus. Hallelujah. But what I want you to understand today, because time is gone. God wants you to have rest. Rest from all your heartaches and your, your turmoils. Hallelujah. God wants you to be able to enjoy that which he has given you to enjoy. Glory to Jesus. He wants you to enjoy the good pleasures of this life. Hallelujah to Jesus. Though the pillars may be rolling, God wants you to have a new work. He wants you to enjoy rest. The Lord gave us three words. Release, rest, and restore. As I did my studies, I realized that the very same Noah that we spoke about, the man Noah, the man Noah, let me read something to you. The man Noah, his, his, his word, his name means To be settled and comforted. Somebody says settled. Somebody say comforted. So the word Newark, it means Noah, which simply means to be settled and to be comforted. Hallelujah. And we see as God told Noah to build the ark. And the Bible says after the, 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 the water abated from the earth, 
that there was a dove that left the ark. And this dove that left the ark, it went and picked some olive branch. And that was a signal to Noah that there was about to be rest upon the earth. There was about to be a place for the, for the, for the ark to land on. Now, this very same olive branch, it is a representation of Jesus Christ. Ah, glory to God. Some of you have been experiencing some flood in your life. Ah, but Jesus wants you to know that I am your resting place. And when I show up, you will be okay. Because I am your rest. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Uh, remember when the Bible says that Jesus was baptized by John the Baptist. What happened? The Bible says there was a dove that came and rested. Jesus. Now, this message is not easy to preach on hungry belly. Come on, somebody. But I want you to understand this church. Jesus says, Come unto me, all ye that labor. And are heavy laden. And I will give you rest. Oh, some of you have been toiling and working. But God wants you to know tonight, today, hallelujah. That now you have entered into your season of rest. Watch this. Sketch the revelation. It was after the sixth day that God had did all the works, all the hard work. That on the seventh day he rested. We are in our seventh year of ministry. Uh, God mighty. Now, this rest is not sleeping. This rest is not having to go on a vacation and put your foot up. What God is saying to you, that the struggles you have gone through for the past seven years, now is the time for things to become easy for you. For though you have been struggling, the struggles will be over even in this hour, even in the season. I wish I could get somebody to receive that today. Hallelujah. You shall experience a level of outpouring from the Lord. Because on the seventh day, oh God, God experienced rest for himself. And if God rested, you need to take rest. Somebody say amen. Thank you, Lord. Let's go to Hebrews chapter 4. Hebrews chapter 4 and verses 1 to 9. When you're there, say amen. amen. Hebrews 4 verse 1 to 9. Hallelujah to Jesus. Somebody say, it's good to take a break sometimes. Yeah, some of us, we, our mind is so perturbed and disturbed. But God wants you to know, sometimes it's good to take a break. Hallelujah. Verse number one of Hebrews chapter four says, let us therefore fear, lest a promise be left us of entering into his rest. Hello? Hello, church? Amen. So there is a rest that God has designed for us to enter into. Amen. And of you should seem to come short of it. For unto us was the gospel preached. As well as unto them. But the word preach did not profit them. Not being mixed with faith in them that heard it. For we which have believed do enter into rest. As he said. As I have sworn in my wrath. If any shall enter into my rest. 
Although the works were finished from the foundation of the world. For he spake in a certain place of the seventh day on this wise. And God did rest the seventh day from all his works. And in this place he shall enter into my rest. Seeing therefore it remained that some must enter therein. And they to whom it was first preached entered not in because of unbelief. Again, he limited a certain day. Somebody say a certain day. Come on, shout it out. A certain day. There is coming a day in the body of Christ when we shall experience that heavenly rest with God. Jesus says, where I am, you shall be also. Hallelujah. After so a long time, as it said, today, if he shall hear my voice, Harden not your heart. For if Jesus has given them rest, if Jesus had given them rest, then would he not afterward have spoken of another day? Hello? I don't bash Seventh-day Adventists. I love them. They are my brothers and sisters. We have one here on the keyboard with us. But I want us to understand that God wants us to have Rest in him here. And we look, as we look forward to the spiritual rest to come. Glory to Jesus. Let me continue reading. For there remaineth therefore a rest to the people of God. Therefore there remaineth a rest to the people of God. Hallelujah. God wants us to begin to experience uh, that good season in our lives. Anybody want to have a good season? Anybody want to be um, worryless when it comes down to finances? Amen. Come on, can you stand with me? Anybody wants to be worryless when it comes down to your finances? Amen. Anybody wants to be worryless when it comes down to when it comes down to your health? Amen. Lord shall give you rest. Rest for your, your weary souls. For your weeping may endure for a night. But your joy comes in the morning. Jesus says, my peace I give you. Not as the world give. I give unto you. I release the peace of God over you today. I release the rest of almighty God over you today. Rest in your job. Rest in your business. Rest in your marriages. Rest. Rest in your minds. Rest in your body. Listen. The word of God says, if it were in this life we have hope, we would be as men most miserable. So if this is the only rest that God promised us, we would be as men most miserable. But there is another level of rest that God is calling us to. For those of you that have lost stuff, whether it be money, whether it be a car, your house, whether it be business deals, God is saying to you that he has released it unto you and just as Noah found favor and Noah represented rest you shall experience rest in this season as well you shall experience rest in this season as well you shall experience rest in this season as well come on lift your voice and say oh Lord come on shout oh Lord in the name of Jesus, relieve me, Lord, of every hardship. I lose myself from every hardship. I command the abundance of your blessings. I command the abundance of your favor. Let it rest me upon me now. 
Come on, say, let rest be upon me now. In the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. Spirit of the living God. Help us, O oh God. As we continue to look to you. As we find rest in you. Mm. Lead us, O oh God. Lead us beside the still waters. Cause us to rest. In green pastures, for your very name's sake, Holy Spirit, let someone experience a mighty move as you give them rest. Those who are worried about their bills, those who are worried about their jobs, those who are worried about their mortgage, those who are worried about their immigration statuses, Father. Let rest be released unto your people now. For you promised to supply us all our needs according to your riches and glory. In Jesus' mighty name, we receive grace. We receive grace. We receive grace. We receive grace. In the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. If you're here when you're not saved, God wants to give you rest. He says, Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden. He wants to give you rest. It's not up to you to carry the load or the weight by yourself. The Lord says, cast your burdens upon me for I care for you. If you're here and you're not saved, come to Jesus. Come and try him out. Come and give him your heart. Surrender your life to him today. The cares of life may come, but Lord, the Lord Jesus has the power to take you through it. Is there one more? I want to experience, I want to explain something to you. If you are in the house, you are a backslider, or you have not yet taken your baptism, I want to let you know that our righteousness, our works of righteousness cannot save us. It doesn't matter how much we do good works. And the Bible says, unless we repent, we shall all likewise perish. I appeal to you, Come to Jesus. Come to Jesus. Come to Jesus. We're going to have in, be having a water baptism before the ending of this month. <coughs> Amen. So if you're not yet baptized, get ready. De Deacon Phillips, one of his daughters, really is going to be baptized at the end of this month. Sir, I see the mark of God upon you. Are you a backslider? Never? God has marked you for his purpose. Are you with me? God has called you. God has been calling you. Amen. He used to go to church a lot.
So the Lord wants you to open up your heart and accept the call. Because just, just being present in the house is not enough. The word of God says the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life. Jesus is rest. And when you give him your heart, you're giving him everything that is relating to your life. All the struggles you have been through, all the heartaches and pain that you have been through, he wants you to give it to him. Surrender to him. Hallelujah. Many folks have failed you. But the Lord wants you to know he will never fail you. As I stood here, I just heard in my spirit, failure. Some people that you trusted, good friends, they have failed you. But the Lord wants you to know he's not like man to fail and he is not like man to go back on his words and that which he has promised you it will come to pass what is it that you have been desiring for God to do in your life that has been that, that has been her her heart's desire but what is your heart's desire? That's what's her heart's desire. Hold on. Hold a second. Can somebody give help me with a mic, please? We have a young man in the house. Just hold it, hold it, hold it for him, minister. Just talk in the mic so the, the church can hear you. Um, I'm ready to give my life to the Lord because... So many people have failed me. I just said it a while ago. I tried to be good. It doesn't work. And he always stabbed me in the back. It's the only way right now. It's with my trust in God. Amen. I always have a kind heart to help people. All the time. I'm a person that if somebody needs something, it's hard for me to say no. And they always use my kindness for weakness. Amen. Some people who I think have me, people who I help, they turn around and say, well, you're bad man, you're this, or they don't remember the things the that goodness. I do for them. I always do good. <coughs> and in my heart, I will never stop. Yes, so bad, don't, let you, do, don't let you, yeah. don't let the negative stop you from being good. Yeah, Amen. But watch this. God wants you to know it's your time for recompense. It's yeah. your time for you to experience rest from all of these that you have been experiencing. Praise Amen. God. But as you have decided to give him your heart, that's what he wants. Because he said, he, Jesus says, give me your, your heart and I will give you my father's kingdom. Amen. So as you give him your heart, he said, seek me first and my righteousness and all these things shall be added to you. What's your name? Christopher. Christopher. Yeah. The Lord loves you, my brother, and I really thank you for heeding the invitation of Sister Patsy. Yes. And I want the church to be motivated. You don't know who you might invite. People need God. Praise God. And we always say to you, invite somebody to church. Yeah. Invite somebody to church. Yeah. And he lives in Long Island. Yeah, four hours? Four hours? Four hours. Really? Jesus. Rhode Island or Long Island? Ro the way that, where is that? In wow. Wow. So you drive or you took the train to come? You drove? Okay, so you took the long road. Okay, I understand. Praise God. But you see his determination to be here today. And I don't believe that God is going to allow him to come 
he, go, he went through the long route. <laughs> Lift your hands right now. Point your hands towards him, somebody. Father, in the name of Jesus. Before I pray, Christopher, just repeat this prayer after me. Lord Jesus, today I ask you to forgive me of all my sins come into my heart. I accept you today as my Lord and Savior. Renew my mind. Forgive me of all my sins and make me yours in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Father, I seal him with your blood now. Let every power of the enemy be destroyed right now, Father. I pack back the forces of the enemy. Every plot to steal, to kill, and to destroy. Devil, I command you to back up right now in the name of Jesus. Father, we snatch his soul for you. We claim him for you. We thank you. As he has surrendered his heart to you now. Holy Spirit of God, begin a good work in him. Let him begin to feel your power and your glory. In the name of Jesus, let him become a new creature in you now, Father. I break every generational curse from over him. In the mighty name of Jesus, I break every generational curse right now. In the name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, every curse from his bloodline, I break it. Father, I release a blessing upon him. He will continue to demonstrate a good heart. He will continue to do that which you have called him to do. I pray, Father, that you will raise him up as a mighty warrior for you now. In the mighty name of Jesus. God, I, 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 I anoint him for greatness. As I lay my hands upon him, Father. I seal him by your spirit. I seal him by your spirit. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. And amen. Amen. Uh, thank you, Lord, somebody. Come on, thank the Lord. Thank the Lord. The Lord bless you. And we want to see you back in the house. I'm going to show you an easier route to get over here. So the time, the time will, will be shorter. Amen. God bless you. Thank you so much. We're going to do a communion. We're going to do a communion. Can you please? stand quickly. Father, in the name of Jesus, we present this sacrament before you, Holy Spirit of God, as we partake of them. We pray that our bodies will be healed. We pray our bodies will be restored. In the name of Jesus, I bless the juice and the bread as it represents your blood and body. For we do it now, Lord God, to remember you. 
And we thank you in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Go ahead and serve, pastors. For I have received the Lord, that which also I delivered unto you. But the Lord Jesus, the same night in which he was betrayed, he took bread. And when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, Take, eat. This is my body, which is broken for you. This do in remembrance of me. After the same manner, he took the cup. And when he had supped, saying, this cup is the New Testament in my blood. This do ye as often as ye drink it in remembrance of me. For as often as ye eat this bread and drink this cup, ye do show the Lord's death till he come. already blessed. Take it and eat it in Jesus' mighty name. This cup is, it, is the New Testament in his. Take it, drink it, in Jesus' mighty name.
I'm going to ask. Um, I have I have to pray for that lady, the sister right here behind Sister um, Sister Swan. The lady in the, the green and the black. Pastor Abby, can you please come? And Pastor Mulgrave. Pastor Abby, I need to pray for this woman here. Christ. Father, I give you thanks for her right now in the mighty name of Jesus. We ask you now to lift every burden. Every burden we ask of you to lift right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I pray that you will stand with her, God, in the name of Jesus, through the trials, through the tribulations, God, in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, I pray that your woman servant will come out as pure gold in the name of Jesus. God, I pray in the name of Jesus Christ that what the enemy meant for evil, God, you're turning it around for her good in the name of Jesus. Jesus Christ. Father, I pray right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Do your will, oh God. Let your will be done in your woman's servant right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Let every burden be lifted in the name of Jesus Christ. Be wrong, God Almighty. Be free now in the name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, God, in the name of Jesus, may I get some oil in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, God, the Lord wants you to be re to be re to be to rest in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, God, this message was for you in the mighty name of Jesus. This message was for you. If it wasn't for anybody else, it was for you. Take rest now in the name of Jesus. Yes, God, in the name of Jesus, will you just praise God for this woman? In the mighty name of Jesus. Come on, don't look on the outward of, of, of appearance. In the mighty name of Jesus, you don't know the hell this woman has been going through. In the name of Jesus Christ, woman of God, let's open up your mouth and bless him. Will you just open your mouth and say, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Open up your mouth. Give him thanks right now, woman of God. Give him thanks right now. Give him thanks right now. He's on the job on your behalf. Give him thanks right now. Open up your mouth and give him thanks. Just say thank you, Jesus. Just say thank you, Jesus. Oh God, lift your voice and say thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus for your blessing on this woman. Bring her out as pure gold. Take her out as pure gold in the name of Jesus. For those of you that are going through, just lift your hands and say, thank you, Jesus. Say, God, strengthen me and sustain me in the name of Jesus Christ. Let your will be done. Let your will be done. It is done, woman of God. God bless you. Come on, stand with me as we celebrate what the Lord has done today. Amen. We would like to pray for everyone, but 
it's it's just receive just receive just receive today the lord has released rest unto you he has released rest upon you amen hallelujah lift your hands everybody now may the peace of god that passes all understanding May it what? Rest. Remain. Abide. That's the word Newark. Remain, rest, and abide with us forevermore. No end forevermore. Everybody say. Amen. Amen. Your Sunday is blessed. Amen. Your Monday is blessed. Amen. Your Tuesday is blessed. Amen. Your Wednesday is blessed. Amen. Your Thursday is blessed. Amen. Your Friday is blessed. Amen. And your Saturday is blessed. Amen. Amen. The Lord love you. I love you so much. Please remember, first Monday, fasting begins tomorrow. Tomorrow, Tuesday, and Wednesday is our three-day fasting. And for those who are fasting with me for the seven days, we go until Thursday. Amen. But tomorrow morning at 6 a.m. is prior. Please join in with us. God bless you. Love you all. Fellowship with somebody. Please do remember um, to take your rally cards before you leave. Not um, your the prior breakfast tickets. Please don't leave without taking a few. Amen. God bless you. Thank you so much, everyone.